welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Connor Ben says, I'm a clean athlete, and look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Connor Ben has issued a statement stating, I'm truly gutted that we were unable to make the fight happen on Saturday. I'm completely shocked and surprised by this. And he also states, it's been a tough couple of days. Um, my team will consider the next options, including rescheduling the fight. He also goes on to state that, you know, my immediate focus is on clearing my name because I'm a clean athlete. Now, even though he failed a VADA test, he says he's a clean athlete. So we have to take him at his word until the B sample comes in. And 9 out of 10, the B sample will confirm what we already know. But not only that, you know, Dan Raphael has reported that Connor Ben provided a urine sample on September 1st and the result was returned September 23rd. So why did it take two weeks before Connor Ben and his team even told anybody that they popped dirty? If you had it for two weeks, why didn't you say something? What are you hiding? You're trying to get the fight to go ahead so you can get a payday? Is this what this is about? But not only that. You know, we've known that Conor Ben, who says he's a clean athlete, but he moves in a very suspicious way. I mean, this guy was dropped by the WBC in their ranking system due to him not wanting to enroll in VADA clean testing program. So that's not what clean athletes do. You shouldn't be dropped from those rankings and you pop dirty. It's not making sense for Conor Ben because men lie, women lie, but the facts don't lie.